I'm having a, a slight problem. Just a slight problem. Let me tell you. I love sugar. It brings me joy. Why do the things that are bad for you gotta be so damn good? <laughs> My problem is I'm so puffy all the time. All the time. I'm so puffy. I feel really good in my body 25% of the time. And it's not because I'm putting on weight and I'm losing weight. I'm the same weight. It's just like, it's carried differently. I feel like a wobbly, wobbly Mr. Wobble Man 75% of the time. And it's, I can, you, I don't know. I can feel that it's not fat, that it's water. I'm constipated, sorry. You probably didn't need to know that, but I'm just telling you the complete and honest truth. And I just think, is it all the sugar? So for instance, right now, I've got, I've got sweet taste in my mouth. I constantly have a sweet taste in my mouth. I think it's because I eat so much sugar. What have I even eaten today that's sugar? Let me go through a run through of what I've eaten today so far. So you kind of get the gist. Okay, so for breakfast, I have a very sweet breakfast porridge or overnight oats but they will be sweet because I like them sweet. I either add sweetener to it or the yogurt that I buy is banana and custard from Aldi, the sweetened one already and then I have berries and grapes. Grapes, a lot of sugar. I don't know if but like does fruit count as sugar? I don't know. Lunch, okay. I had, oh actually sorry, mid-morning I had a coffee. What do I add to that? Caramel latte. More sugar! What's wrong with me? <laughs> and then for lunch, I had eggs on toast, scrambled, avocado, and some mushrooms. Banging. Zero sugar in that. I do add a bloody ton of salt, though. <laughs> there are so many conflicting things online. Honestly, like, I, I want to eat nice food, but how do you know what's actually good for you and what's not? Like, is it okay to add salt? I don't want to not add salt because it doesn't taste as nice. But then also, I feel like salt isn't very good for you if you want to not bloat. After my lunch, I didn't eat for a good while. I had a little bit of icing. I was making a cake, a white chocolate cake. Had a bit of icing. Oh, some jammy dodgers and an apple. Yeah, you can probably tell that I've kind of had a lot of sugar for just a regular day. And none of these things are majorly overly satisfying. They're just like, oh, I need sugar. It's like I can't go a couple of hours without a sugar pick me up. I get tired as well. I've got a little energy burst now. It's probably from the jammy dodgers I just ate. What I mean is this is a normal day. So then you'll also get days where I'm like, oh, I could treat myself today. I'm gonna have a big cinnamon bun and I'll have a big cinnamon bun. But I don't do that often. I probably do that like once a week and that'll be my treat, my, my big treat. But I do have lots of little treats. And then I'll probably have like a regular dinner, but I will have dessert straight afterwards and ice cream. Then I'll have a sweet snack in the evening as well. Sue me, sue me. I like sweet stuff. But yeah, no, it is getting me down because my stomach hurts and I just feel so wobbly. Like I feel really physically fit, but I feel like it's not showing and I'm not feeling it, you know? What's the point if you can't feel it or you can't see it, you know? What is the point? So yeah, I'm considering cutting out sugar, but that's cutting out my best friend. <sighs> the love of my life. So the reason why I'm thinking maybe anti-sugar is because I keep seeing all these things online. Body fat and sugar are the two fuel sources for your body. Given the opportunity, your body would rather burn that sugar instead of the fat. Yes, even fruit. But there's a silver lining that most people don't know about. You can't eat fruit. So I can't even get my little sweet treat from fruit. Okay, so apparently I can eat apples. Apples are good. Best time of day to consume fruit would be after your dinner. With a little bit of dessert. I can still have my dessert. I'll have fruit for dessert. Oh, I need to drop my phone. I have no idea if this will ever see the light of day because it's embarrassing, but I'm going to show you what I mean. It's rock hard! But it's like everywhere. Like I've got no waste anymore. Where's my waste? My waste! My waste is gone. The sugar is eating at my waistline. I just feel very bloated. Good morning. Well, I actually woke up this morning and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm sticking with it. To tell you the truth, it's because I'm 
so bloated and I'm so constipated and it hurts and I don't know what else to do. So I'm stooping to try in the Eddie Abu diet. <laughs> Eddie Abu, you probably know him on TikTok. The guy who posts about just eating like completely healthy foods, natural foods and no process. And he doesn't eat much sugar. He just eats like blueberries. Oh my God, the meals he eats sometimes. Like he, he made this giant pan full of like beef avocado, blueberries, like literally cooked the blueberries, made me feel violently ill. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not doing it to that extreme. And I'm literally just doing it until the bloat goes away because I love me some sugar. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of sugar, but I just feel like I've got into a habit of eating sugar every hour. And I'm like, it's sweet treat time. Whereas that, that I know that's not good for me. I'm gonna attempt to do three days. I'm not gonna, promise that it's literally gonna be zero sugar because A, I don't really know what else I can eat. So like for instance, this morning I had white bread and I know that's got sugar in. It was sourdough though. But it's the only bread I have. I'm not just having eggs and avocado. I didn't have much avocado. I want some carbs, otherwise it's not gonna be satisfying. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for lunch. I probably will end up eating processed foods. It is what it is, but as close to whole foods and natural foods and no sugar that I can get. But ladies and gentlemen, Look, I'm so bloated. It hurts so much. And the thing is, the thing is, you're probably gonna be watching this and be like, girl, you're delusional. You're not fit. Well, I feel like I am actually. And if you feel like you are, then you are. You can be anything that you tell yourself that you are. Yeah, I'm literally, I feel so bloated and frumpy. By the way, disclaimer, if you look like me, you're not frumpy. It's just how I feel. I know that I'm not frumpy because for instance, I can stand like this. It's a lot in the way that I'm standing. Like I can tense. I'm not frumpy. I know I'm not. I just feel really goddamn bloated. That's my problem. So I'm not doing it because I don't love my body. I feel confident in my body, but not when I'm so bloated. I feel it everywhere. It's like, I can just feel like, I feel like I walk along and I feel like a waterbed. Yeah. I'm a human water bit. I'm hoping I'll be feeling super de-bloated, de-stressed. We're gonna do everything to de-stress. We're going to do some yoga. We're gonna go on nice walks. We're gonna film some happy content and I'm gonna watch White Lotus. That's the thing as well. This video, it's not just about diet. I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself. When I, You don't need to have pressure. You need to chill. We're gonna go for another walk. I had a really nice walk yesterday with Bon and while I was doing it, I was thinking, why do I not do this more often? Just take myself out for a little walk. You know what? I love vlogging because I just feel like I'm genuinely just talking to a therapist and I'm just talking to myself, but why don't I do this more often? Why don't I just chat to myself? Because people would think I'm medically insane. See? Rock hard. Did you see that? Rock hard. Okay, that's not rock hard. Moving on. All right, it's lunchtime and I don't see soup. I never fancy soup. Wild. I wonder if that's because I had a savory breakfast that I now fancy savory. Like often when I have my sweet porridge in the morning, I'll then want sweet pancakes for lunch. Obviously I'm trying to do no sugar. Can I have these soups? Rich tomato and basil soup. Where's the ingredients? Tomato pure, ah, oh, it's got sugar in. It literally just says sugar. We need to go and do an Audi shop tomorrow. So I'm thinking like, I can't just not eat anything for lunch and I don't have any more eggs. I might have to just allow this one. This minestrone one I feel like will be fine. It's lots of veg. Yeah, I fancy minestrone. Is it minestrone or minestrone? minestrone. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> now this, my friends, is the ultimate struggle. You can probably see, because I've probably got it all around my mouth. I just made turkey chili with peppers, onions, tomato passata, a bunch of paprika, peas. That's probably really weird, but I like peas. <laughs> a little side of rice. Dusted that, dinner's done, and now I'm like, what's on the menu for dessert? Are we having a a little ice cream. I usually would have an ice cream for dessert every single day without fail. Without 
Going forward, I'm gonna withdraw for two days as I promised myself that I would. Going forward, I will probably always have dessert. I can't help it. I like a sweet treat after dinner. It's just, it's, it's my form of self-care. I would literally have to have, I don't know, Dwayne Johnson's jawline in order to not have dessert. I'd probably give up dessert if it guaranteed me an insane jawline. I just don't seem to have that. And I doubt I will ever have that because that's just my face structure. I would need surgery for that. Good morning. It's literally been one day. I'm intrigued to watch this back because I feel different, but I don't know if you could actually see any difference. Like, I don't know if that's just like a placebo effect, but I do feel like my face is already slimmer. I actually have a bit of a bum chin. Usually my face is quite bloated, so you don't actually see my bum chin. And I think, I think I actually do have quite like a little point sometimes. We still got a little bit there. Oh, well, I don't feel near as bloated. And it's just been one day, one tiny little day. And it wasn't even hard. That's the thing. All I've done is literally just drink a bunch of water and not eat any sugar. I've not changed the amount that I eat or anything like that. I did have some dates as a snack last night and had that with an apple. But yeah, genuinely, I don't feel near as bloated. A little bit of tensing. Look at me. I can't stay away. I'm on, I'm on the Easter egg cheesecakes. Well, my fourth one, I'm joking. It has made me think, gosh, life without sugar sucks. That is probably because in my life, I bake a lot. I'm at the tea room where I'm surrounded by cake. If it's not in sight, then it's out of mind, I guess. Whereas I'm baking these, well, I guess I'm not actually baking because you don't put anything in the oven. I'm making these for my friend Ruby because her birthday and I'm seeing her tomorrow. I might, I think I'm gonna give her two and I'm thinking, Leaving one in the fridge for me as my little treat for doing three days no sugar, you know? That, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> there is no way I'm not gonna be able to at least taste test one of these. Life would be too short. I would take a slightly fatter face over not being able to ever have sugar. Have real sugar over fake sweetener. That's what I'm learning. It smells bloody unbelievable, Jeff. Come on in, up you get, up you get. Come on, <laughs> come and teach me little puppy. <laughs> so, I slept terribly last night. I was really stressed for like no reason. And I had a headache and I Googled it this morning. Oh God, there's a tail in my face. There's a tail in my face. That is a sign of sugar addiction. Essentially, because I eat so much sugar, the symptoms that I were having last night, also not being able to sleep is literally one of the symptoms. You're so addicted to sugar, you're so used to having sugar that if you withdraw from it completely, your body is like, what, Where, where's the sugar gone? And yeah. So although I feel way more defined, body-wise, I'm not feeling like that complete life of energy that like, Eddie Abu and people online go on about, but that might be because I'm so used to having so much sugar that my body is in shock. I feel like the only way I'll be able to know if it's actually beneficial is if I were to carry it on for like a week or maybe even two weeks, which I might do after Easter. But there is no way that I'm not gonna have my Easter eggs and my hot cross buns. And I'm going out for drinks this weekend, so I will be having a cocktail or two, and I will be eating that Easter egg cheesecake. <laughs> do you want to do a no sugar diet as well? Hey, you always do no sugar. Life's just a bit dull without sugar, but then what is that saying about my life? Good morning! I've not spoken to you for a couple of days now. I actually ended up doing it for a solid four days. And boy, have I got some updates for you. From the video so far, you're probably thinking, gosh, this girl's life without sugar is hell. And to be honest with you, I was genuinely thinking that. But what I realised now is that was the immediate effect of coming off of sugar almost. It's like it's a drug. Sugar genuinely is addictive. So if you completely cut out sugar all at once, which apart from a few dates, I was genuinely doing, from the amount of sugar I was eating, believe me, it's a big difference. I was experiencing fatigue. I genuinely had a headache. I felt sick, which is crazy to me because it just points out, Darcy, you were eating too much sugar if your body is gonna react like that. Mm, 
that the sun's just coming out. It's day five today and I've woken up and I don't want my sweet porridge. Like I'm not craving sweet porridge, which is crazy. Genuinely, I'm looking back at the overnight oats that I was making filled with jammy dodgers and jam. I don't want to eat that in the morning. Check out the bloats. Check that out. <laughs> I've been doing this and I've not changed anything that I've been eating. I have been drinking more water actually, I tell a lie. I've lost two pounds, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not even trying to lose weight and it's just happened. But to be honest, it's probably because I'm snacking on an apple instead of a packet of jammy dodgers. I don't know why I keep going on about jammy dodgers. I don't even like jammy dodgers that much. It's just because we have loads of jammy dodgers at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, I'm. I'm pretty happy with the results. For anyone wondering, this is tensing the guns, the non-existent guns. And this is relaxed. Also, my energy levels have gone back to normal. We've got Easter coming up this weekend and I'm not going to eat loads of sugar. I tell a lie, probably. I know what I'm like. I don't know. I'm going to do a what I eat at Easter weekend. So watch that vlog to see how much sugar I consume. It's bank holiday. I'm going to let my hair down. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Weirdly, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I'll see you soon with a what I eat at Easter weekend and then probably another cutting out sugar video because I am enjoying it and I want to do it for like a solid week. All right, the cameras are cut. Let's get some mini eggs. What was that? Hot cross bun? Yeah, pop me one in the toaster. Cream eggs, give me five. Stuff them right down my throat.